Good morning. I'm so excited. Today is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody out there say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Amen. Well, you guys, as you can see, I am going to be doing a little something different on my page. Um, I've been compelled or led um, to having a Bible study to dive in there. In fact, I was doing this on my own and I decided to share. Um, with so much going on, um, gun laws changing around the United States, uh, racism breaking out um, in the United States and all this other other all the other things that are going on i have decided um to bring myself and others whoever watches the video closer to the lord um so i began a bible study and you guys come on with me and embark on this journey um hopefully we learn a lot um you never know what the lord is going to do um so today is day one and um, what I am going to be or what the Lord led me to and I'm going to be sharing with you was um, to talk about a little bit about knowing the flood. Now, I won't be reading and because I know people have things to do. People have to get to work, things of that nature. And so we'll be briefly touching on points and hopefully I can leave uh, the scriptures down below and where you can go on your own time and, and study as well. And so um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to read uh, the scriptures that I got. It'll be from six. Uh, we'll be going from Genesis six. And also um, the Bible that I'll be using is the contemporary English version. Um, I'm using this one. It's easier for people to understand. And you may be a new uh, believer coming to Christ, trying to learn how to read the Bible or any any of those things and so i felt like or the lord led me to this one even though i grew up with either the niv or the king james doesn't matter grab your bible right now bars and nobles they have a sale for these uh for five dollars for these bibles so anyway um let's go ahead and dive on in see what the lord is saying today so we're going to deal with genesis um, we're going to be in Genesis chapter 6, starting with verse 9, all the way through chapter 7, stopping at verse 13. And so it says, And this is the story about him. Noah was the only person who lived right and obeyed God. He had three sons, Sham, Ham, and Yapetheth. God knew that everyone was terribly cruel and violent. So he told Noah, cruelty and violence have spread everywhere. Now I'm going to destroy the whole earth and all its people. Get some good lumber, build a boat put rooms in it and cover it with tar inside and out. Make it 400 feet long, 75 feet wide and 45 feet high. Build a roof on the boat and leave space about 18 inches between the roof and the sides. Make the boat three stories high and put the door on one side. I'm going to send a flood that will destroy everything that breathes. Nothing will be alive. But solemnly, I promise that you, your wife, your sons, your daughter-in-law's daughter-in-law will be kept safe on the boat. Bring into the boat with you a male, a female of every kind of animal and bird, as well as a male and a female of every reptile. I don't want them to be destroyed. Store up enough food both for yourself and for them. Noah did everything the Lord told him to do. Now we go into the flood. The Lord told Noah, take your whole family with you into the boat because you are the only one on this earth who pleases me. Take seven pairs of every kind of animal that can be used for sacrifice. And one pair all and one pair of all others, excuse me. 
Also take seven pairs of every kind of bird with you. Do this so there will always be animals and birds on the earth. Seven days from now, I will send rain that will last 40 days, 40 nights, and I will destroy all other living creatures I have made. Noah was 600 years old when he went into the boat to escape the flood, and he did everything the Lord had told him to do. His wife, his sons, his daughter-in-laws all went inside with him. He obeyed God and took a male and female of each kind of animal and bird into the boat with him. Seven days later, the flood began to cover the earth. Noah was 600 years old. When the water under the earth started gushing out everywhere, the skies opened like windows, the rain poured down, and 40 days and 40 nights, all this begun on the 17th day of the second month of the year. On that day, Noah and his wife went into the boat with their three sons, Shem, Ham, and Yapheth, and their wives. Wow. I mean, a few things there. First thing, the obedience. Noah was obedient. Second thing, he saved humanity. He saved human God saved humanity through Noah. Third thing, he was 600 years old. <gasps> My God. But no. So, um what I really got out of this, especially how it identified with me today, um, or, or in this time, the cruelty and the wickedness and the violentness of the world, and still yet somebody was obedient to God, and because of their obedience, the whole humanity was saved. Oh, oh my God, listen, obedience is where it's at, the whole humanity, because if Noah wasn't obedient we wouldn't even be here. Could you imagine? So my question to you and my question to myself is what stops us as believers when we hear God? What excuses do we have? Oh, I'm too old. Oh, no, I'm too young. I don't know how to build a ship or a boat. What, what, what do I need? How do I do this? What, you know, ask yourself today, what is stopping me from being obedient? Is it because we haven't practiced on hearing the Lord? Maybe we can't hear the Lord. Let's begin the day to practice. <laughs> because you don't want somebody to miss out on their blessing that God's trying to bless because he's using you as a vehicle, a tool on the earth in order to get the blessing here. Oh my God, so much in that. And God was so, uh, uh, God was specific on how he wanted it done. So, hear God, hear the details, hear the details. You know, go back as trivia. What kind of wood was used? Was it at Cyphus, SPS? You know, what kind of wood was used um, when God asked Noah to build it? Um, you know, how many stories was it? Three, you know, three stories. Um, how many people were on the boat? Was it eight? people you know and so just pay attention to detail and what god is is asking you um when he's speaking to you is the word today obedience hear god and um yeah obedience and to hear god is the thing and see what he does because i'm pretty sure god is going to do some things because i know out of obedience when i've heard the lord practicing hearing the lord he's done certain things in my life as well so let's practice on obedience um a uh, quick short test. You could be saving somebody's life. You don't know. You know, somebody could be on the verge of suicide. The Lord may be using you just to use a word. Somebody could be depressed and the Lord may be just using you to say hello. But hear God out. Let's work on ourselves so we can hear God so we can be a tool, an instrument for his glory today. Now, I know people have things that they need to do. 
Um, it will be something different, but this was so much. I'm so glad that I was able to share. Um, it makes me happy to know that when you're obedient to God, he saves you. He blesses you. Um, obedience is not always a bad thing. It sounds like it. I know that word is kind of crunching. You know, you hear obedient and you're like, oh my God, but hey, it could be a great thing, you guys. I mean, the whole world, the whole humanity was saved behind obedience. Let's take that with us today. Um, the whole world was saved behind obedience. That's for me and that's for you. Again, thank you guys for coming to my YouTube page. Um, and thank you guys if you're on Facebook watching. I'm not going to stay long. This is just a little bit of light for your day. Hey. No, but you guys stay blessed. You guys stay encouraged. You guys practice hearing and you guys stay obedient. Love you guys with the love of the Lord. See you next time with a little bit of light for your day. All right, you guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.